Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. If you enjoy talk about contemporary and high-end luxury bags, small leather goods, perhaps some talk about makeup and even some food, you're gonna wanna take a quick second and hit that red subscribe button down below. Also make sure to ding that bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Over the last couple of months, I have done a review on my Chanel flat card holder. I've also done a review on my Saint Laurent flat card holder. So for this video, I decided to bring together both of these beautiful little pieces and do a comparison video. Perhaps you have been contemplating between one or the other and you know can't quite decide which one would be better. Sit down, get comfortable, because I'm gonna help you through that. I'm gonna give you all the basic information, the similarities, the differences between these items, so that by the end, you can hopefully make a decision as to which fashion house's flat card holder will work best for you. Let's just jump right in. All right, here is the Chanel flat card holder, and here is the Saint Laurent flat card holder. As you can tell, they both are the same height of three inches, but that is where the similarities end as far as the dimensions are concerned. You put them on top of each other evenly and you will see that the Chanel card holder is a little longer than the Saint Laurent. The Chanel measures 4.4 inches across, whereas the Saint Laurent measures four inches across. The depth of the card holders varies a little bit as well. The Saint Laurent measures 0.25 inches across in depth and the Chanel measures 0.2 in depth. And now the funny thing is with, when it comes to the depth of these card cases is if you were to look at the card case from the top, from the opening here for both of them, the Chanel would certainly measure a little bit thicker because it has the extra piece of leather on either side that the Saint Laurent does not. But my guess is that when they did the measurements on the Saint Laurent card holder, they measured it from over here, which is why it technically measured 0 0.05 inches thicker than the Chanel. Price point differences for these card cases, the Saint Laurent retails for 275 US dollars, whereas the Chanel retails for 425 US dollars. So there is a bit of a significant difference in price point between the two. Now looking at just the details of the front, you will see that the Saint Laurent logo is significantly larger than the Chanel. This is worth noting only if you might be the type of person that will be concerned about scratches to the hardware over time. You've got a lot more real estate on the Saint Laurent versus the Chanel as far as hardware goes, so there's more potential for scratches. Um, if you're concerned perhaps about the hardware changing color, that is also something to keep in mind because obviously it is a larger hardware logo compared to the Chanel. But again, if you're worried about something like that, you could also consider one of their card cases that has silver hardware and you could at least you know, omit that worry as far as the hardware goes. Now, as far as the credit card compartments go, you will see that Saint Laurent has two in the front, whereas the Chanel has one. And you will see that each slot runs straight across on the Saint Laurent, whereas the Chanel kind of dips down into a little bit of a curve. Same thing on the back. There is a dip to each slot on the Chanel, whereas the Saint Laurent runs straight across. But on the back, each card holder has two credit card slots. Now looking at them from the top, like I said earlier, the Chanel is a little bit thicker because it has an extra piece of leather, leather reinforcement, I guess you could call it, for this opening, whereas the Saint Laurent does not. Now if you pop it open, you will see that the leather runs about an inch down on the Chanel, and then the remaining real estate, I guess you could call it, on the inside is fabric. With the Saint Laurent, there is no extra reinforcement as far as the leather goes and the entire compartment in here is leather there is no fabric i know it's difficult to see because it's a black hole on camera but rest assured that in here there is no fabric it is all leather now as far as the leather is concerned you will see that these card holders are a little bit different the saint laurent is a grained or pebbled leather which is great when it comes to scratches this tends to be a very durable and carefree type of leather so the worry of scratches to the leather is kind of thrown out the window when you have a card holder like this one and as you can see the pattern on this card holder is stitched into a chevron look 
The Chanel is a crumpled calfskin leather, which in my opinion is the best of both worlds when it comes to Chanel leather. It gives you the nice smooth look of lambskin with the durability of caviar. And as you can tell, the stitched pattern on this is the quilted, classic quilted Chanel look. What I'm going to do now is load each of these card holders up so that you can see what they look like fully packed and ready to go. All right, here are both card cases fully loaded to their respective capacity. You've got the one card compartment on the Chanel versus two on the Saint Laurent in the front. In the back, you've got two on each. And then in the top, I put three bills into each compartment in the Saint Laurent and in the Chanel so that you can get an idea of the capacity as far as the bills are concerned. And now what I will do is leave them on screen so that you can get an idea of how they look at capacity. That is it for this video. I hope it provided you with some insight into the similarities and differences between the flat card holder from Chanel and Saint Laurent and ultimately helped you to make a decision as to which card holder would be a better purchase and addition to your small leather good collection. If you like this video, please do give it that thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already and ding the bell to be notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.